Somewhere in the Alps. So, Agent Gracefully, you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say my name too often. I'm trying to travel in... Cognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got some... Something very important out of a smelly dustbin. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a dustbin. You need a hobby. No, not smelly. Smelly, as in the society of meaningless evil, larceny, lying, and yelling. Of course. Our evil nemesis. Spy Fox, you've got to get this rubbish bag to Spy Corps headquarters. No, I've got a better idea. I'd better get this bin bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Oh, and take this gadget from Prophet. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. Inside of this little peel is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those villains. Good luck, Spy Fox. <laughs> villains? Got any water, chaps? I've got to get out of here. Although this would be a nice cottage for a weekend, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. It's a bucket of water. Any more time here is time misspent. I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Water, work your magic. The dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. Feet don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. I wonder which way I should go. I wonder which way I should go. Here goes. Did you miss me, Chief? So, you've analyzed the dustbin, I see. What have you found? It's a box for a 1 to 1,000 scale model of an evil robot. On the side, it says, Some Assembly Required. Sounds like an excellent title for one of my adventures. It has a mailing label that reads, To La Roche, Care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair. Inside the box are the assembly instructions. 
You'd better take these with you, Spy Fox. Gosh, you can learn a lot by reading. If Smelly is involved, they must be up to their usual no-goodness. You had better investigate this World's Fair. Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. I'm on my way, Chief. Spy Fox, are you okay? Shaken but not stirred, Monkey Penny. So, it looks like we're onto something big. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you and me and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the Smelly rubbish bag. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a dustbin, Spy Fox. No, Monkey Penny. Not smelly. Smelly. As in... The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. Our evil nemesis! Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the Mobile Command Center. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Don't forget to look at the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to get busy and give that LaRoche at the Chateau LaRoche a visit and find out just what he's up to. Do you ever feel bored having the job of a security guard? Oh, I hardly ever get bored. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but unfortunately I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let waitresses with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of waitress and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Unfortunately. It seems that I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. A free photo booth. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. Arena, France, dentist, none, arena, none, fisherman, dishwasher, jockey, ballerina, clown, cashier, tourist, golfer, wrestler, Waitress. I look ridiculous. This is a rather smart-looking device. What is it? One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you look like in 50 years? It's an ID maker of my own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Fascinating. How does it work? You place a photo in the photo slot, choose an occupation, and any name you like, then press the process 
ID button. A completed ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What if I make an ID card, but then I change my mind and want to make a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you can make another card. Just reset the name and occupation, insert a new photo, then press the process ID button again. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do. And then, only when we're on a case. Right. Excellent. The photo's in place. Fred. Rudy. Trey. Dave. Morris. Brian. Nancy. Cashier. Journal. Valerie. Conduct. Waitress. Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. My identification card is complete. I expect that this will come in quite handy. Here you are, sir. One waitress ID card. Oh my. I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess. It was in your other trousers, wasn't it? Why, yes, it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Nancy. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow, Star, star, star. Flip, flip, flip. What's the most challenging part of being a chef? Trying to blend in. Perhaps you'd like to share one of the many high points of your career as a chef. Well, once I swallowed a whole container of yeast. I suppose that's one way to get a rise out of the chef. That's a great looking oven. May I try it, please? Sorry, insurance regulations strictly prohibit the use of this oven by anyone other than a trained chef. You don't look anything like a chef. Someone in the kitchen will die now. Flip, flip, flip. Ah, Napoleon LaRoche. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of Smelly. So, Spy Corps has sent the famous Spy Fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Uh, of course. Since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. You see, I reversed the scale on this smelly evil dogbot assembly instructions. I've created a thousand to one scale fully functioning evil dogbot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy! You're standing in it! Of course! You've disguised the evil dogbot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe the means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the World's Fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstile, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within the evil dogbot. 
When the one millionth person has filed through the dogbot now wound to maximum capacity will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction. <laughs> Once I have unleashed the dogbot, all the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. It is unstoppable. It cannot be called off because it has no off switch. Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair. So cleverly, so subtly, that you will never find it. That's what you think, LaRoche. Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dogbot's Achilles heel, which is the only way into the dogbot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, LaRoach. Oh, I think I will. And now, Monsieur Spy Fox, adieu. <laughs> Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dogbot's mouth. How humiliating. I must find a way out of this cell, so I can stop that evil roach. Uh, uh. If only I could reach that fire escape through these teeth. I can gather information about La Roche with this talk balloon. La Roche's thugs didn't follow the assembly instructions closely enough. They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. I wonder where this gear goes. This gear is too small. This gear is too small. I bet this loose gear is supposed to go some... This gear is too small. This gear is too small. This crazy gear mechanism looks like it could be the key to get out of the jaws of the dogbot. That did the trick. Well, I suppose it's like they say, the tooth shall set you free. Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop the Roach and his evil plans for world domination. My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dotty Dash. Where's it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is crackly and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. You can pick him up here at the Mobile Command Center. By the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans on my spy watch. And I'm sending the plan to you via the spy watch. I look forward to hearing the crack. Monkey Penny out.